enacted by contemporary Bhutto practitioners. And these two mechanisms may or may not um, go hand in hand. For example, many, many dancers travel to Japan, uh, but they don't all then create their own uh, new loco Bhutto. Um, so speaking of Sweden, actually, um, the dancer Sue Ann, who, uh, who's from Sweden, is an early example of both a Bhutto pilgrimage and a new loco Bhutto. Uh, she spent eight years training and performing in Japan with Chimoli Shizune, Hakutobu, Yoko Ashikawa, and others. And she returned to her native Sweden in 1994, where she took on um, investigating what she calls the Nordic Bhutto body. Um, many of her works then are, in fact, sight dances, which take place in outdoor settings and striking Scandinavian settings, like this one here. Uh, in pieces such as Cracks or Luscious, bodies emerge from the snaggy, harsh beauty of the Swedish landscape, only to be incongruously showered in brightly colored flowers. Her training methods are also tied to the specificity of the Swedish landscape, with uh, her seasonal camps taking place in many outdoor sites. Diego Pinon, too, spent an extended time living in Japan and studying with dancers such as Kazuo Ono, Yoshito Ono, Mintanaka, and Natsunakajima. Later, he developed what he calls Buto Ritual Mexicano as a consciously intercultural blend of, quote, Mexican energetic traditions, Japanese Buto, ritual dance, modern dance, and contemporary theater that claims to express the spirit of the Mexican land." Unquote. Watching Pinon dance, this background is evident as he sometimes seems indistinguishable from the conventional image of the Japanese male Buto dancer, a compact sinewy body covered in white makeup, almost naked, head shaven. As his performances proceed, however, Pinon often conveys his cultural heritage through his choice of music, costuming, as you can see here, and props. In a 2006 performance, Equa uh, Itzi, Behind the Mirror, for example, Pignon begins in stereotypical Bhutto mode, moving to atmospheric sounds of clanking and echoes. Soon his character, however, begins to morph through the use of costumes and props, suggesting at times a syncretic Catholic supplicant, a farmer, and a flamenco dancer. Like Suen, Pignon also offers training, seasonal training opportunities that allow dancers to experience his Mexican Bhutto in situ. Interestingly, Pinon has recently been, sorry, he's recently begun calling his work body ritual movement, so using the same initials um, as Buto Ritual Mexicano. This new term seems to erase the specificity as a Buto and Mexican in favor of more generic terms, although the description of the work remains largely the same. Perhaps this is a result of his own diasporic teaching that largely happens in the United States. New local Bhutto's, after all, are themselves in motion, both products of and participants in transnational practices. And dancers like Suen and Pignon further contribute to the Bhutto diaspora by themselves teaching internationally, and as I mentioned, becoming the destination of Bhutto pil pilgrimages to sites that are now outside of Japan. So just in closing, uh, paying attention to these di diasporas pilgrimages and new local forms reveals how Bhutto seems to be able to travel across borders where it can be made to work through local specificities while retaining strong historical, affective, and material ties to Japan. Noticing what is happening to the form beyond the model of Japanese lineage and outside the borders of Japan through routes of globalization that pass through but are not necessarily centered in the West, these processes in developing relationships become visible. By combining the ideas of new, lo lo new local Bhutto's with the Bhutto diaspora and Bhutto pilgrimages, I seek to demonstrate the ways that the form continues to adapt to new circumstances and how Japanese and non-Japanese dancers alike contribute to the explication of contemporary Bhutto. Crazy, dirty, and mad may be the qualities that attracted people in the first place to, to Bhutto, but its passport is the mechanism that has allowed it to circulate and thrive. Thank you. <laughs>